Hello YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Debt Free Cars. Stay out of debt. Pay cash for cars. Debt Free Cars is here to help. Today, we're looking at a 2006 Toyota Sienna with a left pass driver's side mirror that no longer folds. Yes, this is a premium feature on a 2006 through 2010 Toyota Sienna. Find out how we're going to fix it the cheap and efficient way. Now, before I start, please subscribe and like this video to find out more. So what people have done is, so this is a 2006 Toyota Sienna model, uh, fully loaded, limited XLE with all wheel drive. Every possible feature there is. This one comes with a folding mirror button, activation button. And what it does is the mirror folds and closes when you need to. For example, if you're going into a car wash and you need your car cleaned without it damaging the mirror so you would activate this button and then it would fold well what happens is the motor inside the gear one of the gears inside of the mirror mechanism no longer folds and it actually makes this grinding noise when you try to fold it so and it also makes the mirror mechanism kind of loose so when you're driving down the road it actually bumps and folds and and uh and makes some noise so there's some videos on on uh youtube and what they do is we pull off these uh, two wires here, these two red and purple wires here. If you take a look at that, red and purple wires disconnect them from this switch and then it no longer functions. So you can't fold the mirror no matter what. Now that's not a really good way of doing this. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take down out this mirror. We're going to take apart the motor and I'll send, I'll put down a link to where you can find the gears and purchase a metal gear instead of a plastic gear and get this mirror fixed once and for all. Once you do the driver's side, well, time to tackle the passenger side. Same gear and same process. Let's get started. First step, to remove the trim piece, give it a nice tug and the plastic clip comes right off of it and this part on the bottom just folds away. Sometimes you could use a little pry tool, but I use my hands. This is to remove the door panel. Step one is to remove the plastic cover on the door handle. It just pops up with a flathead screwdriver. And then there's a flip screw inside of there. You remove that. Next is there's a Phillips screw in the door handle here. And then the last piece is to remove the Phillips screw on the side of the panel here. Next is you remove the screw right here. And then you grab a hold of this piece right here in the back side here and you lift up on it real hard until you release the clip over there. Then you take this complete pocket out and disconnect the switch and disconnect the two screws for the main handle. Once you remove the main handle, there's a main screw right here, remove that. And then the panels just pops up around the edges. Now, the only thing we actually need to get to for this mirror is to, for this disconnect switch. So you actually don't need to remove anything else. Just drop the panel down a little bit like this and then disconnect the switch and the three bolts, three nuts that are holding the mirror in. And we could go back to the bench and take a look at how to repair the motor. Okay, folks, so once you get to this point, what you wanna do is you remove the mirror first, okay? So the first thing to do the mirror actually just pops up real easy at the bottom, just boop, pop it up, and then it actually slides out this way. And then you could set the mirror to the side here. So you can see the clips on top of here, these two pop up straight out. And then these are more like hooks that hook into the mirror system. Okay, and then there's some wires here that connect for the, 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 the heat, heated mirror and then the arrow, but leave those alone for now. Okay, next step is to remove the base the black part from the red part. So there's three screws here. 
and they're actually T Torx type screws. Remove the three large ones. Then underneath that, there's actually a smaller Torx screw here, here, and inside of there. Remove those to remove the in entire motor assembly. There's actually three inside of here. One, one, two, three inside of here, and then there's two on the bottom. That removes the entire assembly. Next, you wanna pop out the light assembly that's on the bottom of the mirror here. Flathead screwdriver on the side, the long sides, pop that out and the assembly comes out the, and the bulb fixture comes out. Take out the bulb fixture and then run the bulb fixture back through the housing so you can remove the entire housing. Next, what you wanna do is pull back the rubber sleeve and there's actually another torque screw here that holds in the wire harness, so I'll remove that. And then the wire harness will be easy to remove. Okay, once you remove the screw, there's a little brack, there's a little brace that holds in the, uh, the wire harness. Take the brace out and then feed the wire through until you get enough slack in the line so that this mechanism comes out. What you want is you want this motor mechanism. So we'll go ahead and remove the two screws on the bottom. There's another screw in the back, okay? And then there's two wiring harnesses. You could just remove all as much of the wiring harness as you can. We wanna get inside of here. Okay, after you remove the, the motor mechanism from the mirror adjustment mechanism, what you wanna do is dis disconnect the one electrical line here. You can re leave the remaining and start prying up on these little tabs here. Once you pry up the tabs, you could actually pull this apart, but keep in mind that you have to give the, the some more slack in the line here. So this actually seems to hold the the, 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 the motherboard from the, uh, the remaining system. So once you put in the, uh, let the, uh, the electrical line give a little slack, you could actually access what is underneath this plastic cover here, which is the gears for the motor. And I'll show you which ones are broken too. Okay, so once you get to this point, there's two Phillips screws here. So go ahead and take these Phillips screws out. Okay, so, and this cover just wiggles out of here. There's a lot of sticky uh, glue that seals water in, seals water out of this mirror mechanism. But once you get those screws out, um, you could slide this over to this side. And then if you look inside of there, can you see that? Yes. You see that plastic gear right there? Broken. So what you want to do is you want to take this plastic gear out and replace it as a full assembly so okay take this out see the plastic gear okay see that see how it's cracked right there okay it comes out with a a stem here too a stem here okay this is actually part of one unit so you take it out of there and then i'll set it aside here so here's the stem Here's the gear that goes on the end of the stem. And it's actually another, uh, what is it called? A, uh, a warm gear here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and clean this. We'll, we'll clean this off to show you a little better, but it's not necessary to clean this. Okay, everybody. So here's the fun part here is that this is, this is what, this metal one is the one that will be included in the kit that you will purchase. The link is below. Once again, I remind you to please subscribe and like this video if this is going to help. So this is the gear. It's an exact copy of this plastic gear that is broken, common on all Toyota Sienna uh, uh, mirrors. So this gear is going to replace this gear, and that's all you need. So you can tell that, see, these are all the same, same size. It has the double D-ring uh, center um, pin. And then this, I actually clean off the oil, but you don't necessarily need to clean off the oil. You, want, you might want to keep the oil on there, actually. And so this is the warm gear, and this is the gear that's going to go on top of here, like this. Okay, and this is going to turn the gear. And then you just put this back into the motor housing. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so here's the motor housing. You can look inside, there's plenty of grease in there. There's also a little side gear right here that runs the, the larger teeth on here. So what you want to do is you want to just drop this gear back in rotate it a little bit okay so it gets in here okay all the remaining gears are actually metal even this side gear is metal once you do that put the plastic cover put this white 
cover back on it, okay? Tilt it a little bit, back on it. Try to keep it straight up as much as you can. Okay, once it goes in here, you'll see that the little pin for that uh, other worm gear that connects to the motor gets revealed on top of there. Okay, so it's all lined up. Okay, make sure that pin is right in there. Okay, sitting straight up. And then we just screw this back in. Okay, and you'll feel it going, going in. And this will also go, you'll feel the, uh, the plastic bracket uh, start sinking and then it'll actually get a nice tight fit here. And then we slide the motor and the uh, EC board, the, the, the circuit board back on. Remember again, pulling on this wire back here, the uh, wiring harness. And then we wanna slowly maneuver this until it clips close on both sides, keeping all of the glue and all of these other things uh, unchanged. We uh, connect this connector back on, and then we go ahead and mount this back onto the mirror control mechanism first, okay? The mirror, uh, yeah, the mirror mechanism first. So we go ahead and mount this. So there's a little guide pin right there. Oh, let me see if you can see it. There's a little guide pin right there that this housing actually sits on. So make sure that gets on there. Actually, this motor, the system sits below it. And there is uh, one smaller screw that you have to make sure you have a good location on, which I believe is the backside. So there's one smaller screw. You can see this, this is a smaller screw of the two. So here's a large one, here's a small one. Okay. So it's just, there's actually just two smaller screws and the rest of them are all large. So this one actually goes to the back. So we'll do this. Okay, not too tight. And then the rest of them are all these large ones. So one. And then two on the bottom. So one on the side here. Okay. Oops. Okay, so we install the one smaller screw on the back side, two on the bottom and two of the larger ones on the bottom and one large one on the face of this device, of this uh, system. And then you just wiggle this back into the entire housing. And then we'll go ahead and line up the bolts and run the remaining screws in here. So one, this is the long one on the face of the mirror. Okay. If you're using an impact, I wouldn't impact this because this is plastic. So we'll just stop a little bit short. And then once you get all the screws in, at least at least two of them, you could then tighten them up a little bit. Just standard practice, you know. Standard practice for how to install parts. Okay. Okay, and then we have one more screw that is somewhere. Okay, one more smaller screw here. Uh, larger screw. I'm sorry. The longer of the of the two types of screws here. I'm going to back this out a little bit, and then let's see if you can get this straight shot in here. Okay. 
And then there's actually a small one that goes right there on the bottom side. So this is the smaller one. Okay. So go ahead and turn this up just a tad. Don't impact it because it's going to crack. Okay, that one's okay. Okay, and then once you get that, you can actually keep the light out for a little while and also check the bulb if you want to replace it. It's a good time to replace it now. So then what we want to do is go back and pull this uh, wire harness through the, the, the body bracket. The, the bracket actually mounts to the car body. So we go pull this in here and then Install the three screws here, and then re and then reinstall the wire harness bracket, and put back the mirror, and that is complete. And we'll get back to the car and show you how to put it back into the vehicle. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like. All right, folks, this is uh, the mirror all installed back into the car. So I'm going to activate the button down here and show you how this mirror opens right back up. There you go. All fixed. And it does not make any grinding noise when it doesn't work. So the gear is good shape. Here's it. Here it is again. There's the button. There's the wiring harness. Okay, everybody, be sure to subscribe and like this video if it really helped you. And, be, and make sure that the, uh, and also the link, the link for the part that you need to re do the repair is below in the comments. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Debt Free Cars. Stay out of debt, pay cash for cars. Debt Free Cars is here to help. Please subscribe.